Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how we can use Mural. Mural is a really great app that you can use for showcasing your work and how you can collaborate and work with other people. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'll click here start now for free. And here we go. So when you're going to like your own account, I'm going to click here create a new Mural. I don't know how to read that. I even used Google Translate, I'm going to be honest to hear it like mural. I hope I read it correctly. If you know how to say it better, let me down below in the comments. Now, I create a numeral. So the first thing you can do is to choose a by category. And if you want to go by brainstorm, design, plan or agile, it's completely up to you which one you're gonna choose. I will go to the, I don't know, let's say brainstorm. And I'm going to choose uh, this one here and create a mural. Of course, you can create it by yourself. You don't have to use template. Now, as you can see, here we are. Uh, what you can actually do. So we can zoom in with the mouse wheel or zoom out. On the left side, you would see text and sticky notes here. So what you can do is to simply add a text here. Let me show you. This is a YouTube tutorial. What I can do is to simply make it bigger. Therefore, I'm going to increase also the font size. And this is like really simple editing. What you can do is to move it like this and do what you want with it. I'm going to zoom even more. You can zoom to text or that's one something you can do. We can do it literally with everything. So then you can increase the font size, decrease it. You can change the text format. You can make it bold. You can underline it. Also, you can change the font here. Then you can change the default color, background color, and you can actually link it to something. And you can switch type. So you can switch the text type to a like let's say a sticker or a shape so that's something you can definitely do now the next thing what you can do is to add not a text but a text box this is a text box and i'm going to make it bigger and this is something like really similar to uh text but this is just a text box here and really the style is similar and the next thing you can do is to drag a comment here And this is my comment. And this one uh, would be my comment about something. So this is how you can work with the text. The next thing you can do is to actually add sticky notes. So you can add a yellow one or just like different colors here. You can add also bigger or circle sticky notes. So I'm going to add this one here. I can add this one. So what you can do is to simply sticky notes. Then I'm going to have a look at this. This is super cool. And it's like, like the proportions and everything is really good and really simple. So this is something really cool. And let's say I'm going to have a black one here. I would have a black one here, 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 just double clicking everywhere. And that's pretty cool. So this is how we can work with a sticky notes. What you can actually do is just simply click on a sticky note and click here, switch to sketch, or just simply start writing with your keyboard in it. So I'm going to zoom in, keyboard. I can click here and go with actually uh, like drawing. So that's something you can do too, which is pretty good and pretty like epic because not all of tools are going to enable you this that you can actually not write but paint and draw so that's something you can do too now when we go from the uh, sticky notes and how we can use them we are going to shapes and connectors so with the shape and connectors let's say i'm going to delete this thing you have an option to use a connector which is going to be like a line then arrow then uh like which is going to be this kind of connector or this kind of connector and I can go and click hit this one and just choose it I know here and you can really move it how much you want 
I'm going to like this or I can hold C and have it here and then let's say I'm going to choose this one again I'm going to here and it's going to automatically or what you can do is to hold it and when you're gonna hold C and just hold with your mouse it's going to create something like this now I will just zoom out a little bit I'm going to zoom in so this is how you can do what you can do of course is to simply click on your line and connector and you can zoom it in then you can change the stroke color to something else then you can have a stroke style and you can change it to and then as you can see you're gonna have like change direction or like stroke width and you can change it too so that's something you can definitely do now another thing what you can actually do and create and play around with is that you can create shapes here like this one here or i can go like with this one here now what i'm going what i can do is to simply change the background color border color so first i can add a text Opa. we have a text then i can uh, change the border color here to something else i can change the size of it i can change also the inside color so that's something i can do so this is how you can work with the colors and with the shapes you can of course make it smaller bigger then when we have the shapes we can have icons um, icons are pretty straightforward let's say i'm going to have an eye here and i can make it bigger so you can change the color of it so that's something you can do and you can have like plenty of icons of course you can make it bigger or smaller then we're gonna have like frameworks here frameworks are really great uh, that you can input into that something so i can click here and 2.2 .2 grid and i would have it here then I would take simple one and I will have directly in my grid. See? Then I have this one here. I would have the eye right here. And I would have this thing here. So this is, and now everything is in my frame and I can move with it. There's like grouped elements, grouped sections that you can have in your mural app. So this is something you can do. You can have like for design, for agile, for business. You can have like plenty of frameworks that you can choose from and that you can use. Then we're going to have like images here. Again, you can search for image or you can import your image. Yoga, right? And I can simply add an image here. And let's say I'm going to add it to my, to my grid. Then I'm going to see content library here. Add the content to your personal library so you can use it later. And then we're going to have a files and I can simply import the files from my computer. And upload something here. So let's say I'm going to upload this thing as an image. And I can again add it to my grid here. And then we're going to have a draw and by drawing on our top you can simply switch between things what you want to draw so eraser i mean this is pretty straightforward so this is how it works and this is how we can work with a uh, how we can work with a mural drawing skills i'm going to click done, done drawing so the next thing what you can do is to actually go bottom and you can invite someone you can invite people to mural pretty straightforward and pretty easy you just add your email address or you can invite visitor with a link or you can what content do you want to export here you're going to see also the export as a document pdf and i will have it on my email then what you can do is to go to top right and you're going to see people who are going to work with you then you can simply share it as i mentioned with the email 
then you can have like export here and you can export it as a pdf png file png image zip amped publish as a template or you can have it as a github issues or era issues or plain text or area to pdf and png then you can have like chat here that you can chat with other people then you can have like comments activity outline and find then on the right bottom you're gonna see the zoom settings so you can actually move you can you don't have to do if you're gonna have like a really big file you can just do come here and just uh you can just zoom and move as you want right here prioritize right brainstorm define your statement so that's something you can do and that's something uh, that works really effectively so if you can have any questions ask me down in comments and have a great day and goodbye see ya